good day. I'm Isabel Potgieter with this week's top local news. The Metsimaholo local municipality said in a statement the executive mayor of the municipality, Councillor Jeff Zwane, has been removed from office through a vote of no confidence on Tuesday afternoon, August 1. During a council meeting, which was held at the Harry Gwala Multipurpose Centre in Zamdela, Sasselberg, the motion that was brought before the council by the ANC was supported by 31 councillors. It is alleged that the DA staged a walkout during the meeting. The municipality says the council is expected to vote for a new mayor next week. A young jam entrepreneur business in Orange Farms in the Val Triangle has been nominated for this year's top 16 youth-owned brands. Jonse Selo Aku has been praised for transforming the township economy using his all-day jam. The journey, which was inspired by his grandmother's recipes and savings of 1,000 rand in 2019, has seen Seluaku produce jams in peach, pear and yellow melon flavours. His business is receiving growing support from restaurants and retailers across Johannesburg. The organisers of the competition say the nomination of Seluaku's business highlights the importance of supporting youth-owned businesses. Sassel has donated 828 scientific calculators to 15 secondary schools in Metsimaholo, bringing the total donation per school to 55. Sassel's Head of Community Affairs, Tulimbuli, says a scientific calculator is a valuable tool to produce accurate and efficient calculations in the classroom as well as in the office. According to Mbuli, addressing the shortage of scarce skills is important, as Sassel needs highly skilled employees but it is also crucial for the economic development of South Africa. These calculators are donated to schools in the fence line community where there are many disadvantaged learners who do not have access to calculators to enable learners to learn and develop to their fullest potential to benefit themselves, their families and our community. And this is the end of today's 90.6 FM TV News Bulletin.